Hello, I'm Virginia and welcome to Energy Matters News. A number of Australian solar retailers have folded over the last 12 months, impacting jobs and consumers who have paid deposits or require service on an existing solar system. Energy Matters CEO Jeremy Rich says his company has been fortunate enough that it has remained strong. Mr Rich says that the industry can be its worst enemy at times. Having become incredibly competitive, price-cutting wars don't always see the consumer being the winner. Price is certainly important, says Mr Rich, but what good is a cheap solar power system if you can't get it installed and the company disappears with your money? Energy Matters has focused on offering value for money solar solutions, one of the reasons it will continue to install solar and help Australians slash their electricity bills. Energy Matters is the first Australian company to be awarded accreditation under solar panel manufacturer REC's new certification program. REC launched the program including warranty extension for modules installed by suitably qualified REC solar professionals. For example, each qualifying installer can now offer 12-year product warranty to consumers purchasing REC solar panels. This is an added two years to the standard 10-year REC product wa warranty. Warranty on REC's Peak Energy Series solar panels also includes a 25-year linear performance warranty. A new report by non-profit group As You Sow has uncovered the best practices of the top 100 PV manufacturing companies from around the world. Solar generated electricity is 100% clean and safer than burning fossil fuels such as coal or oil. However, the report states that the industry faces additional challenges because of large scale manufacturing. Some manufacturers have made great progress to green their solar panel production, including Norwegian manufacturer REC. REC solar panels have an energy payback time of one year due to the company's fluidized bed reactor silicon production process that uses up to 90% less energy than traditional methods. As compensation for the carbon tax, six Victorian coal-fired power stations will receive $1 billion of federal government funding. Hazelwood Power Station, for example, will receive approximately $266 million this year. The station burns brown coal, a highly emissions-intensive form of fossil fuel, and spews around 16 million tons of carbon dioxide emissions into the atmosphere each year. This single station is thought to account for around 3% of Australia's total greenhouse gas output. According to Hazelwood's owner, International Power GDF Suez Australia, the compensation is needed to ensure investors do not lose faith in the Australian energy market. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to check the Energy Matters website for further information on any of the news items covered in this episode.